Hey, good morning to all my junk family, to all my subscribers, and anyone else out there watching. So today, yeah, we're dropping off this load that you can see here. We picked this up from the previous day. Tried to get to the landfill before it rained. That's what the weather called for, but I checked the weather this morning. It said the rain was going to be coming later on, so it allowed us to get some work done. So yeah, we dropped off that load. Then we went to the scrap yard. I see CP Junk over there. He's out there getting it. He's out there hustling. He got there before me. And uh, so, yeah, we got some metal that we got to recycle. We want to keep it out of the landfill as much as possible. So we dropped that off. And, uh, yeah, so now we got a job. We're going to remove some furniture. A customer called us the other day. Um, said she had some a couple couches and chairs, as you can see here, in her barn. Yeah, these things look pretty old, pretty nasty. Yeah, I don't think these things have been used in some time, but it's not too bad of a barn. You can probably redo the flooring, put some wood down. I don't know, do something. But yeah, we were the ground was a little soft, so I didn't want to back the the van all the way up back there. So we were able to get it within 50 feet or so. So they pulled out nice and easy. I thought this one was gonna break, so I thought if I kicked it, it would come apart. So that's what I was trying to do there, but. Uh, I thought it would detach down there, but no, it didn't. Uh, it still held on. I think it was pretty beat up, though, but yeah. Um, those sleeper sofas, those things are no jokes. And uh, this is what she had inside. She had a treadmill. She said worked. It's the second one I did this week. We got this hutch. Got that bed, that trundle bed. We got the mattress, a couple dressers, as you can see here. So this is the trailer all loaded up. A lot of furniture. But, hey, that's okay. We take it all. There's no job too big or small. Cracking junk removal, we do it all. And so, yeah, we put some stuff in the uh, the van. But on the way out, we got a call to pick up some wood. Customer had cut down a tree. He just moved to the area from Montana. He's building a home. He's trying to clear the land. Um, I didn't know how much wood there was. He said he sent me a text message with a picture, but I never got it. So I was like, let me pop by, see what it entails. So we turned around because I almost forgot about it. Uh, so we turned around and went over there. He uh, he, he gave us 100 bucks for, you know, picking up the scrap metal for him there, all, all, all that rebar. And on the way out, we decided, hey, let's try to hit up the donation center. So we went to Salvation Army to see if they were willing to accept any donations. Now, I gotta say, it's hit or miss with them. Sometimes they'll take stuff, other times they won't. But it just seems lately they've been getting a little too picky with the stuff. So unfortunately, sometimes I have to get rid of stuff that I would rather donate. I may have to find a new donation center. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, it's getting late. It's about 3.15 and the landfill closes at 3.45. So luckily it's only about five minutes away, but... Uh, we got to get going. So that's the next stop is Kingsport City Landfill to unload all this furniture, get rid of it, get an empty trailer ready to go for tomorrow. So they're upgrading the compactor and some of the other things at the Sullivan County Transfer Station in my area. And so when we pulled in, they said, tomorrow's the last day you can dump here. I said, what? They said, yeah, we're not accepting any trailers bigger than six feet long. I said, what? They said, yeah, you're going to have to take it over to... Uh, the Bristol area or Bluntville. So uh, we're going to have to figure something out. But yeah, this is where we normally drop stuff, furniture, that kind of stuff, trash, garbage, household waste. Uh, so we got one more day. They actually said Monday you can't come, but they said tomorrow is the last day. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this couch out and get it where it needs to go. And that's out of my trailer and into this compactor.